Tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Might I beseech you for some assistance? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Hmm... It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. 
I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. You didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you... I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your calibre is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure.
Revelio. Huh. Seems a pleasant enough little place. thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. But Mummy! Archie, I don't have time to argue. I told you repeatedly <gasps> not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, Mummy. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. They've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised... They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. You there! Let me Watch the light go out of your eyes. Akio. We can hold them on oh, I'm not going anywhere with you. You take this to the top of my deck, buddy! Hang on! And I haven't even had to say yet! Not so tough now, huh? That's just pitiful. Tell Rookwood to find me in the day. Let's drop a fable, that is. Incendio. just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. I've been so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. 
Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioneer, has her own shop in Nocturn Alley. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our... I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Rebellio. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is... Incendio! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sing. Hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require map, which you can find in Hogs. I really... And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I should Rebellion. return to the safety of my notes and books.
Lumos. Lumos Revelio Levioso Accio Incendio Revelio. Levioso. Rebellio. Revelio. Let me also. Accio. Let me also. Protego. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Accio.
Huh. I should investigate. Revelio. Rebellion. Incendio. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio Accio Revelio Levioso Revelio. Revelio.
Incendio. Levioso. Potato. Stupid. Incendio. Not my fault you're a dead Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. I would say that Irondale is not appropriate. Akio. Pass the route. I'm on the right track. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Accio. Levi. There's a victory that came none too soon. Rebellion.
Revelio. An encampment. This must be it. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Submit to us once the war is over. Revelio. You haven't had mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. Oh, like heads of lettuce, those mushrooms were. Quite an enchantment. Cards returning to art. I know. Levioso. How many of you are there? Levioso. Akira. Let me... You are terribly out there! Oh. Oh. Glance off of me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Always on the Levy Uso. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Here's a pleasant surprise. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. Accio.
Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Accio. Revelio. Let's start. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. That was quite something. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Revelio. I wonder who lives here. If you're here for my wares... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with 
Witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Hope to see you again sometime. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick. Levioso! Practicing. It's very hard. It may save your life. Levioso! 
Incendio. Expelliarmus. Still at it. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Hello, Lucan. Excellent idea. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. If you need to stop practice. Accio. Incendio. That was something. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Good one. Accio. Expelliarmus. Keep trying. Next time, perhaps. Levioso. Incendio. That's it. Accio. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. I think that's enough practice for now. Already? But yeah. I shall finish up later. Incendio, Leviosa. Excellent form. Accio, Incendio. Good one. Accio, Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Nicely done. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel.
Thanks, Lucan. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you. Plus, you'll be even... Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of... Big match today. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with... Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Levioso. Like a winner. Accio. Expelliarmus. Is that all you've got? Levioso. Levioso. You're better than that. Accio. Incendio. Fringo. Protecto. There goes my way. Levioso. Stupid. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Protego. Expelio. Levioso. Find the one. Stupid. Protego. Accio. Expelio. Incendio. Never duel like that. What a victory! You've won the tournament! It was mostly luck, that's all. Please, you wouldn't have got this far on luck alone. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! I'm flattered, but I don't deserve such an honor. Come now, you're the undisputed winner. You should revel in your accomplishment. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages.
Incendio. Accio. Expelliarmus. Revelio. Labioso. As a Dalian key, I wonder where it might lead me. What are you up to now? There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? That's it. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Revelio. Wish our common room would be
Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Hufflepuff house chest. My little brother said. Revelio. This must be... Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. Revelio. Incendio! Revelio. She growing pungus onion again. Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. It is to have everyone back together again. 
This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in Herbology is knowledge. The prudent Herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the Mandrake Root. Accio! Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <sighs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You've visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and my... Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. Revelio. Huh? Your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I knew. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that! 
without them them anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Revelio. Revelio. Helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first
Revelio. Try riding a hippogriff.
Collins or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogwarts. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from... Rebellion! ...after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwoopa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Very well. I'll bring you a Fupa feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Your potion should not be Revelio. Your potion station's organized and free of clutter. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. 
Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Again. Oh, Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was sceptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Revelio.
Revelio. You can't imagine! Revelio. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Goodness, he needs practice a bit more, I think. Revelio.
Off on another adventure, are we? Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar? Sounds like it's off limits. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. This looks like the right statue. Descendium. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Revelio. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. Reparo. That seems to have done the trick. Revelio. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Uh, incendio! Supposed to get out of here. Akio. Levioso. Rebellion. Incendio.
Going to have to get past this. Revelio. Levioso! Repairo! Levioso! Revelio! Incendio! Repair him. One more to go and I'll make it across. Levioso. Repair him. Accio. Levioso. Aha. Got it. This must be the way. I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendio. Revelio. Something smells sweet. Let's be close to honey dukes. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. 
I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Revelio. 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 Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Incendio. Revelio. What are you up to now? Revelio.
You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages. But they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder, nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Revelio. This Dedalian Keys challenge is coming along nicely. Revelio. You should consider carrying a protection charm. I foresee danger in your path. Akio. Revelio. Revelio. When what was lost has been found,
Revelio. 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 Levioso. Revelio. Lumos. Incendio! Revelio! Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Incendio. Lumos.
Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Revelio. Revelio. Trouble for this. Incendio. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. If you could collect... It's a relief to finally have... Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer.
Seems a pleasant enough little place. Polyjuice potion wants. Hello, Mr. Sim. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Hope to see you again sometime. Hogs meet, here I come. Revelio. Revelio. Most goblins in my family were in the mines at one time or other. 
Levioso. Expelliarmus. Accio. Incendio. Revelio. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Eight legs is simply too many. Revelio. 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 Levioso. Accio. Repairo. Incendio. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. New instruments are expensive, you know. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's... I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury. 
We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Revelio. Levioso. Expelliarmus. Accio. Incendio. No! I will one less shield to worry about. Accio. Incendio. Such arrogance. This whole little magic tricks won't distract me. Rather unwise. Let you insult. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Accio. One camp down, one more to go. Are we? No witch or wizard will be spared. Accio! Incendio! Levioso! Expelliarmus! Incendio! I won't rest! Levioso! Oh, no! Accio! Incendio! Expelliarmus! Protego! I won't rest. Levioso. Do you think this is fair? Incendio. <laughs> Levioso. No! Accio. I will make you pay. Levioso. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. You only have Van Rock to blame. Revelio. Both camps cleared. Madam Beaumont will be glad to hear that. These rocks have seen better days. Incendio! Expelliarmus!
Revelio. 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 I wonder who lives here. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? It was harrowing, and they dug in their heels, but I managed. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets. Truly, Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely. Marvellous. I could always use more of these. Thank you for passing through. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders. Especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on dark magic altogether. I can certainly look... Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insight. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. 
Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. What a horrible story. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired Aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Sure to keep them at bay for now, though be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Do keep your wits about you. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you! You don't scare me, young girl. They teach you so little of what you should know of. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. What is that I hear? Perhaps death in all its mercy oh, approaches. No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death? 
finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hoggy Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? Near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs! Hogs! Field! Field! Ruins house! A vault concealed! A vault in some ruins? Near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen. Helen. No, you're here. Come in closer. Be a dear. Uh, what is it, Helen? The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... But, Madam Thistlewood, I... All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. <laughs> this must be the place Anne told me about. No one's been here for ages. Revelio. Accio. It's no wonder I never found that. <laughs> You're not out fox me, Jackdaw. Accio. You couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Note from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves, and then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best of her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. 
I thought she'd written me off. I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. This looks intriguing. Revelio. Levioso. Incendio. Send you. Travel broadens the mind.